This is a brief illustration of how you can use a Toby T60 eye tracker and Toby Studio software to help a bank get more people to sign up for online banking. Redesign recommendations will be based on objectively measured navigation and gaze pattern differences, comparing users who find the interface hard and users who find it easy. The differences can be statistically validated. The Toby eye tracking system is so portable that the test room could be a mall, a cafe, or any other place where you have easy access to large numbers of participants. Setting up the system is really easy and takes less than 10 minutes. The laptop is equipped with Toby Studio software, which is a complete usability test suite. It supports the entire research process. Setup is now complete. Our first participant takes her place in front of the Toby T60 eye tracker. By collecting the participant's personal information, we will be able to compare gaze and navigation patterns for different demographic profiles. After a quick calibration of the eye tracker, the participant is given the task, sign up for online banking. Since eye tracking is a nonverbal and passive measurement, the participant is left alone to complete the task without being interrupted by questions or losing focus while trying to express her thoughts. Once the task is done, questions are presented through the built-in questionnaire function. This will enable us to compare gaze and navigation patterns of the participants who found the task easy with those who found it hard. In quantitative usability studies using eye tracking, the sample size usually varies between 25 to 50 participants in each subgroup. We are using 100 participants in this study since we will create two subgroups later, participants who found the task harder and those who found it easier. We're done testing. Let's first look at the data visually. Heat maps and gaze plots show how the participants navigate the website and where they turn their attention. Comparing participants who found the interface easy, shown on the left, with the ones who found it hard on the right, we see clear differences in the navigation patterns. We can structure the data by creating areas of interest around key elements. Now we can drill down into our data based on combinations of demographic details, questionnaire answers, and important web page elements. In the statistics view of Toby Studio, we see that most of the participants who found the task hard are looking at all the online banking links, but not clicking them. The time from fixation to click on all of these links are long, which indicates that they have seen the links, but are not sure if they've found the right place to click. They are probably looking for a link that says, sign up now, more specifically. The vast majority of the participants who found the task easy use the find out more link next to the image of the laptop. The conclusion? Add a link that says sign up now here and here and consider removing the online banking quick links. To carry out an in-depth statistical analysis you can easily export your eye tracking data to SPSS or Excel. Eye tracking visualizations such as gaze plots, heat maps, and gaze opacity maps, are ideal for communicating the findings and backing up the conclusions in the report. We have ended up with a report that is objective, reliable, and valid, as well as convincing and easy to grasp. We're all done, and the report speaks for itself. Do you need information on what else Toby eye tracking systems can do in usability testing? Would you like to schedule a Toby eye tracker demonstration methodology consultancy, or training session? Would you like to receive a quote for purchase or rent of a Toby eye tracking system? Just contact us.